the KTN uh, scholar and trust me if you're joining us right now you've missed uh, quite a number of uh, things here but there's still plenty for you because right now we'll be crossing over to Kevin Kimadi. Kevin Kimadi, I know you are at the swimming gala in Makini and trust you me, I know when we think about swimming, you are an amateur but good at your job. What exactly are we having uh, in regards to those swimmers and what exactly do they say that they want to achieve in this day? And I know you will not even try to swim today. Well, Moses, it's an exciting uh, warm afternoon here at the Makini Schools as the second edition of this year's Nairobi County Level 2 Swimming Championship is going down. Of course, it has been going down for the last uh, few days, but today is the second last day. The competition will be ending uh, tomorrow. Remember, whoever will win this competition, they will proceed to the nationals that will be held in Mombasa later on, on 19th uh, October this year. And then after the national trials, the, the national team will be selected to represent Kenya in the World Championship. Of course, this being the second edition of this year's uh, event, it has attracted a lot of interest from fans and participants, uh, varying from swimming clubs, schools, universities, and all that. That is, they have junior categories and the senior categories, and the participants are participating in the 800 meters uh, swimming uh, race. They are also participating in the 400 uh, meter swimming race. That is the 400 uh, freestyle category and also the medley category. Right now, I'll be speaking with one of the organizers of this event just to understand understand how the event is so far. Uh, maybe, Paul, you can just tell me, uh, this competition has been going on for the last few days. Has this competition so far, bearing in mind that it's ending tomorrow? Now, this competition is uh, our premier event for Nairobi. Nairobi has been having uh, two different groups. They've come together. It's bigger, it's better, and uh, there is a very stiff competition here. And uh, we have swimmers who will qualify to go to the nationals after the nationals these swimmers will be selected for kana kana is the regional event and after kana then we are going to have swimmers who will represent kenya in the world championship which is going to be in a city called hanzu china in december now which categories uh, do you have here going on is it only the juniors because uh, i can't see the seniors the interesting thing with swimming is that uh, we have so many age categories, uh -huh. but right now we've moved up. The youngest age group here is eight. We used to have seven and under. We've uh, decided to put those in a different league. We have uh, eight to nine as one age group, 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, 14, 15, and then 17 and over. And that, those are now the senior swimmers, which means now we have every age group covered here. Now, there were some wrangles going on between uh, the Nairobi management of the swimming competitions and all that. Uh, how is the federation so far? The wrangles done? If you look here, we are, everyone is here. Those people who used to be said to be wrangling uh, together. And there is no more wrangles in swimming. We are a happy family and we are good to go. Now, looking at the kind of talent that is here, do you feel that maybe we have talent that might not only shine in the national trials, but also in the world championship? Now, the talent that is going to be developed here is not just the talent for the World Championship that's coming immediately for this year. It's talent that is going to be expected to be even for the future because if you see that seven and under are uh, 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 outside so that we can be able to concentrate on eight and up above, if somebody is eight years now, you can see they have about seven uh, to ten more years where they can actually reach. So it is true, as you said, that we have the future champions all here, uh, and this is the biggest event right now in Nairobi in terms of swimming. Now, looking at the schools that are competing, Makini School is leading uh, with 14 gold uh, medals. How many participants are you going to take from each school? Because there are over 15 schools participating in this competition, but one school is leading. How many participants are you going to field to the national trials per school? Actually, you said there are about over 15 schools, which is right, but we also have clubs. The total number of teams here is 43 and 43 teams. Out of those, we are only going to get the very best. It will not matter uh, whether they are representing school or club. It is who will perform the best. If they perform the very best, of course, they will be in the national team. Okay, thanks, and all the best. Now, Moses, that was one of the organizers of this year's uh, Nairobi Swimming 
competition. Of course, he is very positive. He is pregnant with hopes that uh, they will be able to field a good team to the national trials that will be held from 19th October in Mombasa. And right now, I'll be speaking to one of the participants uh, in the junior category just to, to get her feeling participating in this year's event. Uh, what's, your, what's your name? Ashley. Ashley, you, which category did you participate in today? 10 11. Uh, how was the race today? It was okay. It was okay? Yeah. Uh, what, what convinced you to, to come and participate in this competition rather than just swimming for leisure? Um, I wanted to improve my time. Yeah. Now, looking at your performance today, do you think you're going to make it to the national team? Yes. Yes, I do. And what, what's your dream as a professional swimmer? Who, who do you look up to? Um, there are different people. Uh, which people? Like Hadassa and Lucia. Why? Why them? Um, because they are fast and they make good times. Yeah. Okay, thanks Ashley and all the best. Now Moses, that's one of the participants in the junior category. She's called, uh, she's called Ashley, of course, she is very happy to participate in this kind of event. And they are, of course, the future champions. She is looking up to uh, going uh, to the national trials and maybe making it to the regional qualifiers and also making it to the world championships. Back to you, Moses. Thank you very much, uh, Kevin Kimadi. I know you don't like to swim, uh, live on water, so I don't know how you're that close to that uh, swimming pool. I know you also are, you always have some trouble, but thank you very much. We wish uh, them all the best, and we expect that those are the queens and also the kings that will be when we put the swimming on the world map. Thank you very much, uh, Kevin. And we have these uh, young talent, the swimmers, and uh, Kenya, we remember we've had stars uh, in the world of uh, swimming here in the country, but do you think we're doing enough? No, I don't think we're doing enough. There need to be a lot more pathways. It's, uh, I mean, when you look at it, when the Dunfords actually secured success, it, it was more because of the dedication of their parents rather than a collaborative effort of the federations. Yes, the federations may say that they nurtured them and they saw them swim through the swimming galas and so on and so forth. But when it came to that point where they needed specialized training and a lot more in terms of facilities, uh, it took them getting scholarships and being out of the country. So a lot of work to be done there. A lot of work to be done 